Hello viewers, George here, and this week I'm going to be looking at HERO on the Atari 2600. Okay, to be fair, it's actually called HERO, not H-E-R-O, and also I'm going to be playing this on the Xbox 360. But originally it did come out on the Atari 2600, trust me on that one. Made by programmer John Van Ryzen, say that five times fast. In Hero, you play as Roderick Hero, a man with a homemade power suit. Hero must go into mines and save trap miners. Where was this guy when that incident was happening in Chile? Of course this isn't a simple go in and save the mission. No siree. Cause various evil monsters hold them hostage. Like bats! And spiders! And snakes! Luckily Hero also has laser beams equipped to kill these fiendish cave dwellers. Hero also has fucking dynamite that you can use to blow up walls. Holy shit! The overall gameplay is a fun, enjoyable experience that is simple and straightforward. My only complaint though is the controls, more so placing dynamite. Don't get me wrong, it's easy to place, just a little too easy. To place dynamite you simply press down, but sometimes I'll accidentally drop dynamite and end up wasting it, or even worse, blow myself up in the process. Of course, this could be because I'm playing it on the Xbox. Overall, I give Hero an 8.5 out of 10. That one control flaw can greatly get you stuck in some places, or on top of that, just greatly screw up your high score run. But nevertheless, it's a great and fun game. And it's easy to find on a lot of the newer consoles like the 360, and it's also available on the Activision Anthology Collections. Now, if you excuse me, guys, I gotta get... Go my... What the hell's that sound? The darkness... What darkness cut? What do you mean? Who's saying that? Dar Anyone? I'll uh, I'll see you guys next week. Hello? What's this about darkness? <laughs>